What I want you to do is I'm gonna go down the road on foot just a little ways, and then I want you to get it out here, brake torque it up like you're gonna race it a little bit, and then floor it, you know, it's like zero to 30, and then, and then stop, talk to me, okay? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot out ahead, all right? all right? Okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah, I just wanted you to floor it. <laughs> that was floored. Many times when people think of gas mileage, they think performance goes out the window that's often not the case. In fact, many times it's not the case if you're working with what you have. And I'm not talking about putting fuel injections or overdrives and that sort of thing. Just taking what you got in its current state, regardless if it's a 64 Chevy or a 78 Ford or this 77 Dodge van. When you increase performance off of working with what you have, oftentimes the gas mileage follows it right up. Many times I've started with 15, 16, 17 miles per gallon and ended up around 19 or 20. And the car picked up a lot of, a lot of performance. We have a trip planned for uh, Sykeston, Missouri, and we would like to get the best gas mileage we can. We got a nice baseline. It's 13 and a half miles per gallon. We've already had this in like six different states in the short time we've owned it. And uh, we'll be adding to that list. Also, when we get our performance up, the gas mileage will follow, I want the performance to be up because I have a race with the Hoosier Garage. He's got a really cool Dodge Shorty van just like this. And I want, the, I want this to perform the best it can. Why wouldn't I? I want the best gas mileage too. So that's what we're going to work on. I've already said this in previous videos, but we're gonna work with exactly what's here. But if you get the carburetor, this two barrel BBD carburetor, air cleaner, distributor, if the valves are sealing, if you get every component working at its maximum opportunity to perform, your power will really spike and so will your gas mileage. You know, it's nothing to gain a lot of throttle response and gain two miles per gallon off of something like this. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna tear into this. Um, in the future here, a lot of projects up uh, on our agenda, but we're this is what we're gonna work with. We're not putting aluminum intakes. Um, any any uh, thing that I do is gonna be done, you know, with what we have here to work with. That was awful sad what you saw out there at the beginning of the video. I thank you for watching. Okay, go ahead. That was boring. That was boring. <laughs> Sorry. Does it get the test and tune of it and I started it up this morning after setting all night and did pretty good now it's set here all day and so if I give it a little a little bit of that you smell fuel a little bit more 